Ha hello, how are ya? So I was lying in bed this morning. It's still quite quite early for me. It's ten past eleven in the morning. But I went to bed at, at, at four o'clock. Um, and I was lying there uh, the other day, and I was thinking, what's it like? Because it's winter now. I was like, what's the temperature outside like? Now I can't ask the Amazon device. I can say, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? And she'll say, at the moment, it's eleven degrees Celsius. She'll tell you. And the, the the warmest it'll get is 12 degrees. Now, that's all useful information. But what if you're in your car or in your tent or whatever? Um, so I wanted an indoor. I've had one of these before, and I don't know what happened to it. It probably just keeled over because they cost, like, nothing. I got this one here. Uh, this is a, a Neotech digital indoor-outdoor thermometer. And that's the one I bought. The specs of this are... Uh, the temperature is not to 50 uh, degrees Celsius. That's 32 to 122 Fahrenheit. Temperature measurement accuracy is plus or minus 1 degree Celsius or 2 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty accurate. I'd be happy with that. Uh, temperature, I don't think I'd spot like a, a 1 degree difference. Maybe I would. I don't know. Uh, the resolution is not 0.1 degrees Celsius, not 0.1 degree Fahrenheit. Humidity is 10% to 99%, although I seriously doubt this little £9.99 device would survive 99% um, humidity. Probably not even 10% humidity. Um, uh, the measurement accuracy is uh, plus or minus 5%. It's saying it's accurate. Humidity resolution, we'll test that in a second. Uh, humidity resolution is 1%. Right, so what's the benefits of having this? Well, there's the humidity, by the way. There's the time, which I've not set yet. Uh, you got lots of buttons down here. You've got mode, add ADG, reset, and max min. You do get ooh, a little bookly, a book, booklet, a little booklet with it. Um, made in made in China, made in China, made in China. And uh, the little book, um, it's only like two pages of this little book. The rest is all in your language. So um, yeah, so there's not a lot of info there. But it's not, it's not complicated to get your head around. I'm not even going to demonstrate it because there's not much point. But what you will notice that the temperature uh, is the same, roughly. It's, it changes quite quickly. So the temperature is the same one at the moment because the, there's a thermometer in the white box and there's a thermometer on the end of this little probe. Now, this little probe is what you would put outside your tent or your house or your um, car. I mean, you, oh yeah, put this in your car. Put that in your car engine. Have that on your dash. People will think you're driving a Tesla. They'll think, oh, hello, look at that. Look at that computer system on his dash. They won't know you've only spent £9.99 on a little piece of garbage off the uh, off the internet. But uh, <laughs> I'm joking. It's, it's, it's brilliant. So there's, there's the probe. <laughs> there's, there's the temperature thing. Right. So that's that. And um, it's no there's no electricity traveling down there. So I'm going to do a little test uh, to test the accuracy of this. I thought this would be quite fun. I am going to see. Now, the average human being should be 36.7 degrees Celsius. Oh, 36.7. Something like that. Between 36 and 37 degrees, right? That's what we should be. So that's Celsius, right? Obviously, I work, we work in, I work in Celsius in my life. I'm a Celsius boy. So I'm going to pop this underneath my tongue. That's what the doctors always say to do when they take your temperature. And we're going to see how quickly this changes and if it gets to 36 point something. And then we know it's quite accurate. So don't do this at home. Don't you do this. I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm an expert at this. So I know exactly what I'm, what I'm doing. Don't you do this. Do it if you want. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, up. Up. Come on. It's going. Oh. Moving, is it gonna move? Yeah, oh, I mean, we're there, right? I think that's how you said that. Come on, there you go. You gonna stop there? Hmm, is it gonna stop? Seems to stop. Oh, uh oh. What's happening? Oh, yeah, 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 look at that. 
I kept moving this around between the warmer, the warmer feels inside my mouth. I have, I have cold and warm zones in my mouth, like every other human being does. That's because eh, I'm not born of this world. So the, um, that's it. <laughs> that that's not so much a review. It's more a telling you it exists. Uh, I've, I I want one. I need one. I mean, you don't need these things, right? But I find it useful as we drift towards winter to know how cold it is outside. Um, and I just wanted to show it to you, really. Uh, so that's how long the probe thing is. It's about, I don't know, a metre and a half, this wire. Uh, £9.99. Anyway, I'll put a link down below if you want to get hold of one of these. If you don't, don't bother with it. Uh, it will be an affiliate link, so full disclosure. Um, enjoy. I hope you found that reasonably interesting, me sharing the stuff I'm finding necessary in life that probably isn't but uh, i appreciate you uh, watching thanks very much uh, until i do something else i'll uh, i'll say cheerio bye bye <laughs>